Hello, this is the technician from Parts Guru. We have a new uh, Jura F50 model, F as in Frank, 5.0. We are trying to demonstrate the features, especially highlighting the frothing process. This machine has a Jura professional frother, and first we will display the featured items and components. The professional frother has a dial component which can be turned up to steam the milk and on the right side in the half position of the turn it will stop the steaming and when you turn it to the bottom side of the dial it will generate less foam and create lattes. The frother has on the top a plug that can be removed and this is one of the plugs that allows the air inlet but this is also one of those components that gets lost very easily so be careful when you remove it don't uh, have the machine close to the sink and it will become the victim of uh, uh, going into the sink on the right side of the professional frother you have a plug and an inlet where you can just uh, steam the milk uh, by connecting the tube into this hole remove the plug and connect this tube so it will draw milk from the bottle we have several uh, complaints uh, seen on the YouTube and in the blogs on uh, coffee forums that the steaming of the milk is not uh, desired uh, temperature. Uh, generally, most of the frothers, they will steam the milk with uh, a temperature limit of 160, which is a piece of cake, really, because most of the steamers will um, steam the milk to that temperature. Uh, we wanted to test how uh, the steamer frother in Jura machines will work. We are using the professional frother, of course. So we have connected it back and dipped the tube in the milk container. And the machine is ready. We are now pressing the button for steaming function. Uh, one thing I must say that the steaming and initial warming up of the machine is uh, relatively quick. And one other good feature is that it uh, asks for rinsing function in the beginning so that the passage of water for espresso is warmed up and it will not be cooler than required. The espresso temperature should be really good. Uh, it should be not less than 185 as it comes out of the spout. In any case, we are now, um, <clears throat> the machine is ready for steam. We are generating the steaming and uh, frothing process. We have rinsed the cup, the plastic cup, which is really not very uh, cold, but still we have rinsed it. And we are now uh, using a dial thermometer. We will dip the thermometer in. And what we observed in uh, trying these frothers that when you start the steaming process it uh, flushes some water in the beginning maybe about uh, uh, four cubic meter quantity which is very surprising that this kind and this quality of uh, frother should be doing that but uh, let us try the steaming process now This initial uh, flush of uh, steam coming out with water is uh, not a very happy situation. Uh, taking the camera to the close-up view of the dial and after almost a full cup of steaming, the temperature is 120 degrees, which is very low for steaming uh, and frothing the milk. So, uh, yes, we confirm that the efficiency of steaming is not as good. Uh, we have not yet analyzed the reason for that, but still the fact remains that this milk does not cool. 
one of the reasons as a technician I can uh, understand that perhaps the tube is uh, drawing full volume of flow of milk and as a result the steaming uh, temperature does not rise to the level we need. Steamed milk from the frother should uh, reach 160 degrees and if there is some deficiency I can accept a temperature of up to 150 Fahrenheit. Uh, anything less than that is not a good uh, feature in the frothing thermometer, uh, no, frothing uh, device. We will demonstrate uh, also, um, uh, or actually we don't have that uh, constrictor, if uh, the flow of milk is restricted using a constrictor, and we do have those available, um, those will, uh, constrictors will reduce the flow of milk, and I'm sure if that constrictor is used to reduce the flow of milk, it will steam much better and hotter. Uh, the flow, the, the slower the flow of milk, the more uh, temperature uh, of milk would be steamed. So for this uh, time, uh, we end this video here and thank you for watching.